ladies, do you notice something? That's right, electricity has been on since last night. I am just wanting to show you guys my evening routine now that lights are back on. I know some of y'all have mentioned the my hair looks good some days. This is shampoo day, but I added my root lifter today. So I sell Monate shampoo. I really like the Monate products. I didn't intend to sell them. I have been using them now for like four years. So I sell it. So if for any reason y'all want like a link to look more into it, let me know. And if you'd like some samples, let me know and I can ship you out some to try it too. But anyways, um, but I really do love it. I used to have super thick hair and after every kid, my hair got thinner and thinner. So this one has been the one that helps my hair not fall out. And it's the longest that it's been, I don't know, probably in 14, 15 years. So anyways, um, just want to show you guys a look on what I'm really working on. If you can hear, I have a podcast, um, or not podcast, but a music playlist going. It's called That Work Hustle. It's one I put together. I have added it on the description. So if you, for any reason, want it, it's on Apple. But um, you're welcome to enjoy it. And I hope it will inspire you. It's got some gangster rap, some faith music, some country, some a little bit of everything. Okay? I am using right now Uniball Air Still. Love these pens, as you know. And then this one is the Uniball... Uh, which one? You know, I don't remember which one this one is. But anyways. Oh, Uniball Vision Elite. That's what it is. So I've got that going. I found something super cute. I found these at uh, Marshall's today. We stopped at the store just to get out of the house because we're cooped up. The roads are icing over now, so we had to get home in time. And all the stores are shutting down at 6 o'clock tonight. So they've actually been shut for about an hour and a half. It's 724. Um, but I saw a market list and I thought, what cuter way to carry that in my planner in the A5 Stalogy for clients that I have because it's perfect from like a quick glance if I can't whip out my computer or my app. Just knowing who I'm going, like who I'm helping right now, the numbers on it I thought were great because it's going to help remind me that it's not the end of the world, that I'm still selling and I'm still serving and helping people because I've been struggling with that. I feel like I'm not helping anyone which I am, I'm just trying to find them houses at this point. So there's that. I went to Walmart with my mom too, got a five star uh, wide ruled. I usually use uh, college ruled paper, but I'm doing this one just because I like the style. It's kind of like a salmon-y color with a blue trim. It's just a one subject um, notebook, nothing fancy on this. And what I plan on using it for is I also bought a binder so love your life super cute reinforced i don't like the cheapy ones i like these i spend a little bit more on the binder it's about i think nine dollars for this one but i got the tabs put in so i have 80 pages of a pdf version of a business plan that i'm going to be putting together so it's called millionaire real estate agent business planner i've been attending off and on when signal allows us we still don't have internet but um, I've been attending family reunion and it's been just so much goodness that everything happens for a reason. I am snowed in to pay attention and be still. Lights on and off, electricity on and off, signals on and off. I've had, being able to get some nuggets and wisdom, being able to, I talked to you guys about this book. Um, I'm telling you, between the book landing in my lap, cause this book, does this look pretty to y'all? It does not look pretty to me. This is like very bland. A doctor wrote it, so I don't know. I always think when doctors write something that it's gonna be like too complicated. I am now officially on page 14. You guys, this book, I was like so cogged in the wheel and it is so good. It's just so, so good. Um, I needed this. I needed this to help me advance out of that Kind of that paralyzing season that I was in and you add that to the fact that I've been doing these webinars and I think just the timing I would not have been able to pay attention if I was in Arizona right now I'd be like getting flip house stuff done running all over the place trying to just do stupid busy work that would mean nothing really in the grand scheme of things right because I can keep like moving my arms and I can keep doing these kind of things but I'm not really I, there's nothing really making me advance from the issue at hand and the issue at hand is that I, I'm having like paralyzing insecurities right and I'm not able to pick up the phone and I'm not able to do these things that I know I need to do and um, so this book has been the fearless mind 
badass and in fact right now I was reading it and then hopped on to say hi to you guys I need to buy it for myself it's a library book that I rented but I'm gonna need to or checked out but I'm gonna need to buy it because there's things that I want to mark in here and copy for myself but um, okay so want to show you guys in real life fashion so the camera's gonna wiggle around okay the iPad camera so that's what I got going. So I got the planner going, the notebook going. The notebook I'm gonna use just for miscellaneous, um, like things that I need to write down for the business plan, but my B6 is a little too small and even an A5 size would have been too small. So I said, just to hell with it, I'll get a notebook, spiral notebook, and that way I can trash the papers afterwards. Got the book, got the hole punch because I was hole punching the papers for the binder. I've got water, I've got essential oils. That's the other thing that I sell, but I don't really sell it, but I have a link if you guys are interested. Um, comment if you do, cause I'm not really going to comment the young living one, but, um, I'm using one called magnify your purpose. This one, I don't know what's in it. It's young living, but it's magnify your purpose. And I bought this one. So, um, I signed up with a girlfriend to help support her business. And because I started using these essential oils when I was going through, um, kind of just that season where I just, the first month that I didn't have a closing and I was freaking out thinking it truly was the end of the world and like I was cursed and never going to get another client again. I, there were a few days where I just could not get out of bed and I couldn't seem to like even get out of my pajamas and stuff. And I just happened to run across this one because I was looking at what to order because there was like a minimum order I had to do. And I said, oh, to hell with it. Magnify your purpose. Some of the blends are, they can get really expensive, y'all. They can get like $70, $80 for a bottle. But we use essential oils every day. And this one was so affordable. It was a fraction of the price, not even half the price, like a fraction of the price. And I said, well, let me try it. And it's been so good. I don't know if it really works or if it's mental. I don't give a shit if it is mental. It's working for me and that's what matters. But it just really helps give me clarity, um, relieves, stills my mind. It's almost like the, the, the smell is therapeutic and it just feels very comforting and I'm able to get done what I need to get done and I'm not hiding in the sheets. And so I've got those essential oils going. My mom made me some coffee, so I'm super excited. Yes, I drink coffee at night um, because that's what I do. And I could literally drink a Red Bull right before bedtime and still fall asleep. That's how much my body's used to caffeine. I've got my computer going because I'm gonna need to pull that out in just a little bit. But this is what it looks like. So my night routine. Um, on a good day and on, on a, you know, on a, a frozen in day kind of thing. So in my bag, I've got, and again, my tote is the medium one. So I've got medium sized totes, right? So it fits all my stuff. I'm going to show you guys, this is what I look like right now. Not too messy. My wallet's crooked just because when we went to the store, I just chunked it back in. But my organizer is still very much working awesome. My Dagny Dover pouch. So I will include my Dagny Dover link down there. It comes with a medium sized backpack but this is awesome. I've really fallen in love with it. I keep it in the backpack. I chunk it in my bag. It's badass. I love it. Um, the, so here's my happy planner. So I've got the happy planner going. It's interesting because I, I don't know. I don't want to jinx myself and say I found the planner piece on this one, but the system is still continuing to work even through literally a snowstorm. But I like it because I went today to the store, right? And they have rings. Martha Stewart has like the disc bound rings that are silver and gold. And I was like, oh, it's got the gold cover. I'll get those. So I looked at them. They would have been the right size. And then I had to put them back on the shelf. And I was like, why are you buying different discs? The system's been working awesome and it looks pretty. It doesn't look janky and stop buying things that you don't need to buy, right? Because I'm on a mission to start simplifying and actually use the shit that I bought and not get something else until I'm done with it. So I was very proud of myself at that. I have, um, I keep, I'm still on keto, you guys. So even through that where just everything is on lockdown, I have been staying on keto. I'm so proud of myself. I am on day, let's see, day 11. Really thrilled about that. But I'm keeping a keto bar in case I feel like I wanna faint. I got it on hand. And then I have my planners. So. Still digging the still digging the A5 hand stitch leather tee. I've got this highlighter. So I did come to the conclusion, in fact, even today, I they had more of the like the Sharpie highlighters at the store. They're more expensive. So I'm going to stay buying my Uniball Airs, like my Uniball pens and my Sharpie highlighters. 
for sure going to continue buying on Amazon because they were significantly higher. And by significant, the highlighters were about five or six dollars more expensive at the store. And then the Uniball Airs were about, you'd only get three instead of the, the multi-pack that I get that has like four. And it was about three or four dollars more expensive. So I'm going to stick with uh, Amazon. But I did realize that for sure these highlighters, mild liners, I love for the color. Don't get me wrong. What I love about this one, I am really, really finding satisfaction in watching shit empty, like finishing them now. So I told you guys last week, I guess it was, that I finished a highlighter at, during my class. I'm almost done with the pink highlighter. It's almost like down to it's nothing. And so I'm, look at this. Tell me, does that, it like, that's satisfying. So it tells you it's full and it's almost empty. This is all, can you see? That's all that's left. That's it. I don't know. I like that. I'm, I feel like I'm actually getting through my shit. So this one's full right now. So this is my next one that I've been working on using. And I don't know. It sounds dorky, but whatever works, right? So that's working for me and keeping me pleased. And I still have so many highlighters left that that's good. Good challenge to work on. Um, I used today the, we had the webinar today was the last day, but I was using my red uniball and I'm almost done with that one too. It's like, I'm expecting that you give me about four or five more pages and that sucker is going to be done. But B6 has been getting heavy usage this week because of the seminar, lots of good nuggets. I'm also writing summaries from my book. Uh, one thing I might do, I don't know. I got to think about it. It wouldn't be one that I would put into my purse, but I have that A6. Stalogy, and I've got the um, the Moterm cover that I can use on it, or even my Chic Sparrow A6, the Dormouse color, which I, you know, I like really, really loved my B6 Slim Dormouse. So I might just use that Dormouse for the sake of it because I love the color and I love the feel. I love the company. I know some people have kind of bittersweet comments with some of the new models coming out, but you guys like. I do like Chic Sparrow. I love their customer service and coming from the customer service industry. Um, I don't know, I, I appreciate it and the products are, are well made. So what I thought is for my book reading, I might use the A6 Stalogy in the Dormouse cover on my nightstand so that when I'm reading, I can have that and write my notes there. The reason I say that is because I have been, like my notebook, I actually thought I had a lot left but I really don't have a lot left in my my notebook because I was kind of starting from the back and then starting from the front at the same time. So I have that much paper left, but because I was starting on the front and starting on the back, it's kind of awkward at this moment, but it's fine. I'm going to get through this damn notebook and I'm not wasting paper on it. So, um, you can see though, it's starting to hand stitch leather tea cover, but it's starting to kind of chunky up right here because of that magnet. So I have the I have that Ollie Clip magnet, that round dot. Still like the dot and I'm still keeping it on the top corner to move it. So when I'm grabbing it, I pop it off while I'm writing so I don't have this awkward bump. But beyond that, I really have been satisfied with it. So, but what I noticed, so to give you an idea, red, I've been using the red one because I want to finish that pen now that I'm on this mission to finish it. But like I wrote, black I was using black to separate to differentiate because that was the book the fearless mind book but what I notice is it, it's hard I can't really distinguish okay the book stuff the notes of the day book blah 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 so it's just too much shit right it murkies it up and I'm trying to stay organized but I'm trying to stay simplified at the same time so that's why I think my compromise will be that I can use my a6 with a black uniball air pen on my nightstand with fearless mind or any book for that matter I like the fact that if I keep that A6 notebook, it's just, it's big enough, but it's small. So it's not gonna be chunky on the nightstand and I don't need it to be huge because I'm not writing the whole book. I'm writing inserts of the book and I like that then I can use that one to keep track on my bookshelf as I get finished with them of the books that I've read. So then I can go back for reference, which I like the concept in my mind. This one, I'm still keeping when I'm done. I'll keep it, just put the dates that I started it and the day that I end. But definitely no intention right now to switch out of this hand stitch leather tea cover. I'm going to show you guys. It's, I try to do the light. Yeah. So right there from the pens and the highlighter, not bugging me like I thought it would kill me. It didn't. Still afraid I haven't trimmed that sucker off, but nothing else is coming off. And that's just because it's hand stitched. Uh, pockets still look good. 
all of it looks great. I really like this one. This one is one of my fave for sure. The color, I just love, love the color. I love it. They have a lighter one. I might, November 30th is my birthday, I might splurge and buy the light color just to see how it patinas, like how it gets darker over the course of time. But as of right now, I'm not planning on buying it at all. And if my birthday, I might do it, okay? Not even a definitive. The A5, so there's the dent from having the highlighters and the pens on there. N not even scratches, I've just, I've been using this thing. So I like, I like when the leather already had imperfections, but I want them to look like I'm using them. I'm tired of having stuff that just does not look like I use it because I'm not damn using it because I got too much shit to do, like with it all. So this one, very good, still laying flat. I'm still chunky, still haven't changed that, but everything so far in this one has been working very well. Yesterday, um, I got some stuff done that I needed to get done, so lots of highlighting. The webinar this week has taken priority, and because of that, and with the weather and all these elements, Yesterday, I just kept it simple, like, hey, if I can do those things and get it done, what I got done was for my team, so, and myself, really. I went on ahead and I blocked my mental days for once a month, where I take a mental day break, um, every other month, taking two days off, and then booking my vacations for the year. You guys, I have never booked vacations. I suck with that. I am a workaholic. I do not like them, and I'm so proud of myself that I actually blocked out for Patrick's birthday for us to go back out to San Diego. We did that last year and I'd like to do it this year again. So that would be in September. And then I also blocked out that for um, the Christmas week that I'm actually gonna take that week to spend with the kids. And then I also created, because it's my company and I get to do whatever I want, right? I went on ahead and put niche home team. I put official company days that are closed. I'm really proud because in real estate, we're supposed to be on all the time. And I just don't want to. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna give my team members that, you know, Thanksgiving. So the day before Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, and the day after that we're we're closed. And then on Christmas Eve, that Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, for sure we're closed. And then for New Year's, it's gonna be that the 31st, the first, and the second are closed. So hell yeah, I'm excited about that because just gotta learn how to rest, right? Work hard, rest hard, refuel yourself in this. Set, this seminar has been really good to remind me of those things. So that's the A5 Stalogy with the hand stitch leather tee. So system continues to be wonderful. The big binder, the three ring binder, I'm doing the business plan. This thing is staying on my desk. It is definitely not getting put in my backpack and it's definitely not getting put in my damn purse. Not at all. Electricity being out has been interesting because I don't know if you guys recall, but I had originally planned to use my iPad. I bought the iPad Pro and all the setup, the pencil and the keyboard and the blah, 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 because I wanted to use it so I wouldn't have to carry my MacBook around. And then Ridiculous Me was then starting, started carrying the MacBook and the iPad. Uh, stupid. So this week through the, having the storm and learning how to adapt with both because my iPad has cell phone service and my iPad could only get Wi-Fi. well, it was draining my cell phone service because the, the towers and stuff have been frozen as well. And so we get choppy signal and then internet was down. I've learned how much I can do on my iPad and it's been very freeing because now I don't feel like I need to carry my stupid laptop everywhere I go. I can actually carry the iPad. That's a massive win. So as far as the goal earlier this year that I made for simplifying, I feel like I'm very well on the road. I'm seeing it through wanting to and like finish using things that I bought, right? Completely and making intentional decision. Like today I went to the office supply store, you know, love that place. My mom was like, this is like your therapy place, isn't it? I said, absolutely it is. I could have bought extra post-its. I almost did, they were in my hand and then I put them back. Almost wanted to get the more expensive highlighters. I didn't, I put them back. I'm learning to just get what I need simplify and that there's other stuff that if I have the other things that I already had in my stash, let me use those first. And then when I'm done with them, then I have permission to go buy something else. So very proud. My checkbook is very proud of me. I don't think that I have gone on such a no spending and I still spend a little bit like on necessities, groceries, or, you know, um, I had to get more keto bars today. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like the normal shit, but spending, shopping, spending, I have not, I can't recall the last time that I haven't shopped so much. I haven't even bought anything on Amazon. 
So I haven't bought anything on Amazon in like six weeks. That's huge. But anyway, so system, happy planner for personal stuff and the flip house stuff. A5 Stalogy only for my real estate business, nothing else. And then my B6 for all my note taking. So ladies, we are still looking awesome. Still fits in my bag. How exciting. We are like on, I think week eight now, eight in a row of using the same freaking system. Let me know. I'd love to just share what are you guys working on? So what planners do you guys have? Do you have more than one or you know, what are you, are you switching out again? Are you finding yourself that you're actually starting to stay in a planner for longer than a day or a week? Share with me. I am super curious because I've been surprising myself that I'm actually sticking with this. That's very satisfying. So with that said, I'm going to keep jamming out. I'm going to keep working on the business plan, start chipping away because that's my goal for the week. And, um, yeah. And I didn't realize, you know, I'm always surprised. Kathy mentioned something that, you know, in the future, they might be looking at moving to uh, Texas or even Arizona. I'm going to throw it out there. Like I said, I sell Monet. If you want Monet, I'd love the opportunity to uh, get you involved with it. And if you don't want to sell it, you don't have to. But if you want the products, they're awesome. But Young Living, if you need that. But certainly real estate. So I am a realtor mama. I've been doing it. I've been licensed in Texas 16 years. And I have um, been in Arizona now for four years, almost five years. This year will be year five being a real estate agent out there. But um, if you honestly, if you know anybody, if you know anybody at all that's thinking about moving to Arizona or Texas, I want to help them. I hope that you will warn them that I'm just this is what you get and it is what it is. But I promise to kick ass. I promise to give them my absolute best. Um, warn them that once they work with me, they're actually going to be stuck with me forever. Like we're going to be family at that point. So anyways, with that said, I'm going to get business plan. I'm going to read more of this goodness. If you ladies, because I really, really love this book. And I think several of you, uh, have, you relate to me. That's why you stay on the channel. And that's why you watch the videos. Right. And that's why we keep getting subscribers. If you would like to maybe an idea, cause I would totally be up for reading this one again when I'm done or even start it over again so we can all read it together. So if this would be something that you'd be open to maybe doing like a YouTube book club, if you will. So once a week we post, I'll post the, the summary of one of the sections or two of the sections because they're easy reads. And then you guys can comment your feedback, you know, as well of what you think that might be kind of cool. I'd love to do the journey um, with any of you that would like to because it's been really wonderful so far. But let me know if that'd be of interest. Um, and if it would, then I'll coordinate the video intro to kind of put the ground rules together so that we can get the book. I'll link the Amazon affiliate link thing so you can buy the book uh, through Amazon. And um, yeah, thank you again as always, loving me, letting me ramble and just uh, put my guts out there. Um, I appreciate it. Those of you that have uh, signed up for the Facebook Samantha Mompreneur Living page, thank you so much. I love having you guys on there. And those of you that we're like officially Facebook friends now, um, I love it. I love staying in touch with you guys and on my Instagram. It's been super cool to see that the people that follow you in one place were becoming friends in other places. That's exciting to me. I love doing life with you guys. So I'm going to leave. Talk to you later. Bye.